Hi there, it's Jennifer McGuire here, and I have some money card ideas for you. The first one I'm going to do is a snowman scarf money card. As you can see here, this snowman is wearing a $20 bill as a scarf. Just something fun to do for the holidays. Um, first, I wanted to show you, before I show you the money, I wanted to show you how I uh, stamped here on this acetate card. This is from Hero Arts, and I'm stamping on here with white stays on ink. I always start in the corner when I'm doing a background and work up and out, and that way you don't end up with a you know, white space in the center or uneven coverage. So you can see I'm working up and out here. Um, and I'm working on a craft sheet from Ranger, which you can stamp on and do anything on, and you don't have to worry about ruining it. It's a wonderful tool to have. And I can stamp on it with the stays on, and I'll be sure that it'll clean right off with the help of an Ultra Clean from Hero Arts. So there you can see the card. Now here's the Ultra Clean. This is a stamp cleaner that I use for everything, including stays on. And I'm just spraying it on my craft sheet, and then I'm just going to take a... a cloth and wipe it away. You can see how clean my surface is. Okay, now we're going to um, assemble the card. A lot of people want to know about making cards that are clear. I'm going to put this piece here on the inside of the front, uh, and now I'm going to put this one on the inside, on the back. You'll see this here. So it lines up with the blue circle I've already put there. And so I don't have to worry about seeing the adhesive. I'll put one on the back of the card too. So you can see that adhesive is only showing through on the front, but that's okay because our snowman will cover that up. So I'm going to use my scissors to just trim off the edge, and we're good to go. So clear cards are a fun and expected thing to do, and you can still have a place to write a message on the inside. Now I wanted to show you how to fold the money to make the snowman scarf. It's really quite simple. Uh, I think this would be fun to give a guy or a teenager um, for a Christmas card, you know, people who are hard to shop for. So first I'm folding this in half the long way, and now I'm folding it into thirds. Uh, you can do it in fourths, but I found thirds to be easier, kind of like you're putting a letter in an envelope, so you're folding it in thirds here. So it's nice and thin. Now I'm going to take this and press it down as good as I can and fold it just in half. It helps to kind of press the folds down too. Now I'm going to fold over about an inch from the edge there. You can see about an inch over. And I'm going to take a paper clip. You could use a, anything else, like a regular size paper clip. I like this little one from Tim Holtz because it's nice and small and you don't see it. And I'm just kind of folding it over a couple of the folds so that it doesn't unwrap. You don't have to worry about this too much. Now I'm going to take this little piece in the front and fold it down so it looks like part of the scarf is falling down. So it looks more realistic. So it just folds it down. Now this is how we really secure the scarf in place. It's very easy. All I did was stamp these snowman circles. This is a set from Hero Arts where you stamp the parts of the snowman. Put one on with a foam adhesive and then tuck that snowball, that giant snowball, into one of the folds of the folded scarf. So you can see it's kind of holding it on there. Now I'm going to take the other snowball for the head and tuck it in the top of the folded scarf. And believe it or not, that will hold it just fine and keep it in place. So you don't have to put any glue on the money and it just holds it there nice and tight. And here's what the card looks like when I finished up. I like to put the message of a gift for you so hopefully they don't miss it. There's a $20 bill wrapped in on it. Next I wanted to show you how you can do a money tree. Uh, this is a lot of fun to do. I've done this one before. And here you can see I've got a series of holiday trees and then one of them is a $20 bill. This one also is easier than it looks. I'm going to do it in slow motion so you can get a good view because I tend to work fast. So I fold the $20 bill in half and then I fold it into fourths. And again, you want to press it, the folds down really nice. Now I've got this thin piece of brown cardstock that I'm going to hold down the center and it'll be the trunk and also the way I glue it down. So now I'm folding this side in. At the top, I'm folding all the way up to that trunk and then you can see down here in the bottom right corner, I'm going right to the edge. So I'm kind of making a triangle. Now I'm doing the same on the other side kind of looks like a teepee, and then I'm going to tuck this little flap here underneath. So you can see that's tucked in real good there. So this trunk is still sticking out of the top and sticking out of the bottom. So I'm going to hold that there and put some adhesive on the bottom of this brown strip and also on the top. Again, I'm trying to avoid putting adhesive, adhesive onto the money itself. So I'm going to cut the end of this so it's shorter, and I'm going to tuck this 
behind the bottom of this card that I've already assembled and then there's glue up there at the top too so it holds it in place it's still loose but that's okay I'm gonna cut off some of that excess and now I've got this star gem from Hero Arts that I'm going to put and overlap the 20 just a little bit to hold it in place. So believe it or not, that's all it takes to hold that tree in place. And I also wrapped a ribbon around it just for a little bit of fun and to help secure it. Here's another version of this card that I've done. This is a little more masculine. Um, and I just secured it with a brad and a star on top. Thanks for watching another video.